Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. I feel like I haven't been posting content as regularly, but I promise I'll be back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to give an update on the blooms for the month of May. And I have a lot of Cattleyas that are blooming now. It's been really hot here in New York City. Well, we've had a couple of days where it's been like in the 90s, really high humidity and I feel like all of my Cattleyas have been loving it. So a lot of them have been in bloom. Um, but also I've had a lot going on in the last month, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I don't talk about it on this channel very much because it's not really relevant to orchids, but I do post about it on Instagram every once in a while. But I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about 12 years and two weeks ago I got my black belt finally in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so that was really exciting for me. It was something that I didn't expect. I've been training for so long, I wasn't even expecting promotions to come up when they did. Um, but after the pandemic, I went back to training regularly. I train almost every day. Um, so it's a big part of my life. I try to train almost every day. Um, I put a lot of effort into it. So I've been very happy with um, getting promoted. So that's been really nice. Um, the first um, five years or so of my um, Jiu Jitsu, I, I competed very actively and then I've had some really bad injuries. So like I've torn ligaments on my knees, my ankles, um, my shoulder, I've torn my hamstring. So it's a pretty rough sport, but when the pandemic, um, finally when the restrictions ended, I wanted to go back, train hard. So that's what I've been up to lately. It takes up a lot of time, but I think there's always time for anything you make time for. So like my orchids, my work, my hobbies, um, there's always time. But anyway, guys, I wanted to share that update. I've been into that for the past year and I haven't shared that in this channel. Um, but I'm, my orchids are doing better than ever. And there's so many that are blooming for the first time, which I'm going to show you. It's been really hot in new york city as i mentioned it's been we've had some days in the 90s with really high humidity so my cattleyas have been liking that my dendrobiums have been liking it and hopefully my vanders are gonna start to bloom one day um the big ones that is but they're growing everything's growing really nicely there's some orchids that i have right now that are in bud and i've never had so many orchids bloom for me at once a lot of them i got like two years ago um when the pandemic began a lot of them were like near blooming size or seedlings so it's nice to see them for the first time so between this update and next month's update you guys are gonna see a lot uh, so let me know if you guys have any of these orchids that i'm about to show you and let let me know down in the comments which orchid was your favorite and if you have it as well in your collection. And with that said, let's jump right in. The first orchid in bloom last month was the Vanda Pocky crossed with the Vanda Falcata. I got this orchid from Orchid Classics last June and um, it's doing well. I think it could use a little more humidity since it lost a couple of leaves on the bottom, but it's nice to see it bloom and it's got a new leaf on the way. This orchid is fragrant. Surprisingly, it's fragrant during the day, um, so not at night, and it does smell like the Neo Phoenicia Falcata parent. I really like this one, but I think I have to really up the humidity on my um, Vandas in order to have more success with growing them, but I was really happy to see this bloom. I think it's really cute, and this bloom lasted about five weeks altogether, so it was definitely worth uh, growing this one and the fragrance was really pleasant. The next one in bloom is the Brasso Cattleya Hippodamia. This is a cross between the Brassavola nidosa crossed with the Cattleya Eclandiae. Now this orchid has a lot of different variations. I've seen a lot of different seedlings with petals that are in a spotted, lips that look completely different, so you get a lot of variety with this one. I'm really happy with the way that this one came out. I really love the spotted petals and that beautiful lip and the fragrance is lovely. So it smells like a, kind of like a spicy floral fragrance. It reminds me kind of of the Phalaenopsis violacea. Now I am having a little trouble growing it in semi-hydro. It grows just fine, but it's very unruly and it's growing outside of its pot. It's got a new bud coming in, so I need to get on this ASAP. And as you can see, the new growths just come in and they grow down and then eventually come up. I think I need to mount it. 
I don't have the time to really water mounted orchids, but for this one, I think I'll make an exception. So I need to figure out a new setup for it. But look at that beautiful bloom. This is a really nice one and I got it from Gold Country Orchids. Really, really love this one. Up next is the Cattleya Hamana Egret. Now this is a cross between the Cattleya Valkyriana crossed with the Cattleya Dubiosa. The Cattleya Dubiosa is a primary hybrid with Triania in it, and this one's really nice. So I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of white blooms, but this one has just such nice shape for a first time bloomer. And the fragrance is really nice as well. It smells kind of like the Cattleya Valkyriana. It's got that rosy fragrance, but it also has a little bit of spice in it as well, just like the uh, Hippodamia. So it's very similar. The bloom has lasted for a while, so it's still in bloom actually. So it's almost been a full month and I like it. And that fragrance is very strong. I hope this does well for me in semi-hydro. So hopefully we'll get some new roots and a new growth that comes in. But if it doesn't work out, I'll definitely let you guys know. But this one so far, really, really nice one. Up next, we have the Iwanagara Apple Blossom Fantasy Pink. So this is a really complex hybrid and the blooms are just really beautiful. I got this from my friend Ray. He gifted me a division and it finally bloomed after about a year in my care. Now this one's a tricky one to grow because it pushes a lot of sheaths and you think that you have buds, but sometimes you get a sheath within a sheath within a sheath. This one had four sheaths before blooming. Um, so this one's a little tricky and not tricky. I guess it just tests your patience. So sometimes you think you'll have a bud, but it's actually another sheath. So it, it does take some time to uh, finally get your buds, but it's so beautiful. It's got a nice uh, floral fragrance and the shape of the blooms is very pretty. A little unusual for a Cattleya type orchid, but I'm really enjoying this one. Up next, we have the Potanera Dick Smith Paradise. This is the second time that this orchid blooms for me. And as you can see from that first bloom, it's missing a petal. So it came out a little bit warped. Um, so it, it's like a little mutation. That second petal, that second bloom rather, is uh, much better. Um, but the blooms didn't last as long this time around. But, you know, it's the last time it bloomed, it was about a year ago. I was hoping for a better showing. Last year it gave me one bloom. This year it's given me uh, two blooms with that one mutated bloom. It's got a very subtle fragrance. It's really hard to describe. It's not floral, but it, it does smell like a Cattleya. But we do have a second sheath coming in, so maybe that one will do a little better if we get some buds. Right now it's uh, blank, but um, we'll see if it does better next time. Next, we have a reliable bloomer. This one's the Angraecum didieri. We actually repotted this orchid together. I repotted it two months ago into lava rock. So check out my repotting playlist if you want to check it out. Um, but it's nice to see that it bloomed shortly after being repotted. The new root tips are growing really nicely into the lava rock mix. I put it in a net pot with lava rock thinking that it would give it lots of air. And I'm happy to see that we have a dormant bud that's coming in and I think that will bloom next. I find that these orchids sometimes have buds that go dormant and then they bloom later on. So I think it'll continue blooming. As for how it's doing, there's some roots that are coming through the net pot. I'm seeing that it's having good progress here. I do water it um, every few days or so. I think it's happy. It's liking this lava rock setup. It's getting plenty of air gaps, but also has nice moisture. And I think I'll be able to keep it in this setup for a while. Now the outer pot is trapping in some of the humidity, but it's still getting plenty of air. And the nighttime fragrance is perfumey and beautiful. Up next is yet another very reliable bloomer. This one's the Potanera Barana Beauty Barana. And I find that this orchid blooms three to four times per year. It basically blooms from every single new growth. 
This time I got three blooms from it. I think maybe last time I got four, but either way, it's very vigorous and it's very easy to grow. The blooms are on the smaller size for on the smaller side rather for a cattleya, but it's very pretty. It took a while for this orchid to grow on me, but what I do enjoy is that fragrance. It's got a very rosy fragrance and it's not rosy like a Miltoniopsis. It's rosy kind of like a like a rose bush, like a ro like actual roses, because um, there's different variations of rosy. And Miltoniopsis is a little sharp, if you guys know what I mean. Um, the color grew on me too. Initially, I didn't like that red and yellow, but it's just so cheery, so easy to grow. And I find when an orchid is easy to grow, I just start enjoying it more. Keeping on the theme of very vigorous, easy to grow cattleyas, my Potanera Hawaiian Charisma Hawaii is in bloom yet again. Uh, last time I got four blooms, but this time I got three blooms and I thought they came out absolutely perfect. So the petals are beautiful and there's a slight flaring at the edges where the pink on the outside is darker than the pink on the inside. So it's got that little subtle flaring that I didn't really notice the first few times it bloomed. So I'll say that the shape and everything has improved a lot. The fragrance is wonderful. It's strong and it smells like lemon sorbet or like an Italian lemon icy. It is wonderful. The blooms are about five inches and they're really big. The blooms last for three to four weeks, so for a cattleya, they last uh, relatively long, and it's growing really well in semi-hydro. Um, even with this large pot, I feel like I might run out of room very soon, but I love this one. Up next, we have another vigorous orchid. This one's a Proctovola Key Lime Stars. It's also known as the Vonera Key Lime Stars. For the first time, I got three blooms um, instead of two, and... Um, I like this one it's vigorous it's easy to grow it's it's pretty cute but i wish it had better fragrance so the fragrance isn't bad but it does smell like sunscreen and it's not very strong so you would think with the brassavola nidosa parent that you would get more of a fragrance on it so maybe i'm being a little picky i'm sure there's a ton of variation on this one i do find with brassavola hybrids that they don't always come out the same and sometimes you get better fragrance sometimes not really so it really depends on the parents that were crossed with this one the specific parents but it's really easy to grow it's very vigorous and this one tends to bloom off every single new growth so it's a really easy one I hope you guys like the update for the month of May. I have a lot more content coming for the month of June. I have a lot of blooms coming, so you guys are gonna see a lot more orchids come up. up. Um, I also will make some more content. I always try to have videos twice a week, but lately I've been a little busy and I'm trying to get back on track to making two videos every week, Wednesday and Saturday. Kind of been off um, just because I've been doing so much lately, but I'll make the time to make more content. Well, anyway, guys, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and don't forget to give me a like. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye, everyone.